round window outside our building <laughs> here. Is that what you said it was going to be like? Uh, with some sunny spells, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, a little bit cloudy. A little bit, a little bit of cloud. But a little bit. I think away. it looks beautiful. And then you were saying about Dartford, because what's happening there? Cloudy, and there'll be some rain around as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Rain is the problem. That is the problem. Because we'll take go to Ben, who is sensibly undercover. But rain is the problem. Although you look like you've got a really, really gorgeous tub of juicy strawberries. And you're matching, I think, as well. I'm not saying you look like a strawberry, but you're matching. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, don't tell anyone, but I've dressed to go to a tomato farm. Uh, yes, we are talking about the weather and the rain. We've been focusing on the impact it's been having on businesses. Today, we're looking at the impact it's having on these strawberries and the fact that combined with the low levels of sunlight, it has delayed the strawberry harvest by two or three weeks. Now, thanks to these polytunnels, you'll be relieved to know there will not be any shortage of strawberries on the supermarket shelves. In fact, the forecast is that the UK will grow enough strawberries to fill 230 million punnets this year. That's an awful lot of strawberries and it needs an awful lot of workers to pick them. 30,000 seasonal workers will be employed to get them off the plants and ready to go onto the supermarket shelves. And you'll be glad to know that the UK is self-sufficient for strawberries in the summer crop season from May to October. That means that we grow enough strawberries here in the UK to meet the demand for what people want to consume. Uh, let's find out a little bit about the business side of things. We can speak to James Miller, who's the commercial director here at Chambers Farm in, uh, in Kent. Good morning. What impact then has the rainy weather, a low level of sunlight had on the strawberries? Uh, well, the good news is we've not had extremes of weather. So we've not had extreme heat, hot nights or, or big frosts, um, which means the plants aren't under stress. And plants that aren't under stress are happy plants, therefore good fruit. We're, we're lucky to have all of our production covered, so the rain hasn't directly impacted the fruit. In fact, the extra rain has been quite good for our reservoir quantities. Um, but the delayed season because of the lack of sunlight meant these plants here are quite vigorous. You can see they're searching for the light. Vigorous That's why plants. They're taller, they're taller yeah. exactly. Yeah, good colour, healthy plants, and that means better fruit for us. Better fruit. So we may have to wait a little bit longer for our strawberries. Exactly but, that. But what they'll be they'll be bigger, they'll be sweeter? They'll be bigger, more nutritious, better flavour on the strawberries this year. Okay. Uh, from a business point of view, a delay to the harvest of two or three weeks, what, what impact does that have on you as a business? Uh, it means that we have to manage our labour profiling a, a bit differently. We have to plan for that. But this is um, it's a very volatile crop, so these things happen all the time. There's delays. Today, for example, there's no sun, so that means the strawberries will slow down in their ripening process. So we, we manage these. It might mean we have more strawberries for Wimbledon than we usually do. Oh, well, that's very good news. Um, when we look at the, um, the, the, the destination for these, uh, do these all go to UK supermarkets? Do they get exported? Where, where do you make your money? Uh, majority is UK supermarkets, so about 95%. We are looking to export. We do export to uh, the Middle East and, and certainly we'd like to export more to Europe. So we have an ambition as an industry to be able to export. It's a great product, very high technical and ethical standards in this country. So there's a great demand for it. We'd like to export a bit more, but majority goes to the UK supermarkets. Uh, and you were telling me a moment ago how transformational the technology of these. I mean, it's quite simple. You put some sheeting over some yeah. metal arches. Yeah. But ha in the years you've been working as a strawberry farmer, yeah. what difference has that made? Uh, it, enormous. Over the decades, with the technology of, of these and the structures that we put in place, the UK strawberry season used to be six weeks. Now we can do six months, if not, a, if, if not more, using these structures, which are, we're, basically we're indoor cropping in, in a field. OK, James, really, really interesting stuff and great to get your thoughts on it. I'm sure people will be relieved to know that, I don't know, is it the nation's favourite berry? Uh, uh, who knows? It absolutely is. This week and coming up to Wimbledon, the strawberries will be the biggest selling product in the supermarkets in this country. OK, and that's not just from, uh, from my purchases. James, thank you very much for having us down here <laughs> this morning. Um, as you can see, there are plenty of strawberries for us to uh, check and quality control. I've got to make my way through this lot at some point this morning but I tell you what with the headlines coming up why don't we take a moment to find out what the news travel and strawberry growing weather are doing wherever you are this morning
four. Uh, we're going to stick. We had Simon saying that we've got a really nice weekend coming up for most people. Much better weather, but we, it's hard to forget how wet it's been. Isn't it? Yes, and for farmers that can be it can be good and it can be bad. Strawberries, though, uh, we're thinking, Ben. I, I don't know how, well, how is it affecting. Well, you're busy. I can see you're busy picking. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, I've been uh, making my way through the strawberry farm. Uh, we've been looking at the wet weather. That one's not too bad, is it? We've been looking at the wet weather and the effect it's having on various businesses. Today, we're looking specifically at strawberry farmers because the wet weather and the low levels of sunlight have delayed the summer strawberry harvest by two or three weeks. Now, thanks to these polytunnels, these long sheets of plastic stretched over these metal arches, they protect the strawberries from the heaviest of the rain that could damage them uh, and the, the most extreme of the weather's traps in some of the heat. So although the harvest is delayed, you'll be relieved to know there are not expected to be any shortages of strawberries on the supermarket shelves. In fact, the UK's forecast to grow enough strawberries to fill 230 million punnets this year. That needs an awful lot of workers to pick them providing work in the industry for something like 30,000 seasonal workers. And the good news, if you're a fan of strawberries, is that the UK is self-sufficient in that summer crop season. From May to October, we produce as a nation enough strawberries to meet demand. And my goodness, is there demand, especially with Wimbledon, not too far off. Uh, let's speak to Nick from uh, the British Berry Growers. Um, Nick, what effect has the weather been having on farms like this? It slowed the ripening of the berries down, so the season is around two weeks late. Having said that, it's a very long season. Growers are in production for seven months, so it will average out over the following weeks. But a little bit later, but what it has meant is that berries have made great size and great flavour. So there is fantastic strawberries on the set shelves now. And we're at peak of production now, so yeah. Go out there and buy them and enjoy them. They're really great. Yes, I can, I can vouch for the fact that they're sweeter and juicier because I've been trying one or two while I've been here this morning. Um, we can see these polytunnels along here. What difference have they made in the decades that you've been involved in the industry? They've completely revolutionised production. If I went back 25 years ago, strawberries were grown in the ground in the open if it rained uh, the crop was ruined and would be you know completely wiped out for two three days at a time yields are now six times higher typically 60 tons a hectare from this type of production compared to perhaps 10 um, which has meant that with the improved quality and shelf life of the berries sales have quadrupled over that period um, yields have increased by six times so we're now producing four times more berries off a smaller surface area which is great news for growers and also for customers when we talk about the delay to the harvest, you're saying there are the upsides to it in the terms of the quality of the fruit, but what challenges does it pose for a business where presumably they have to have workers that they're employing for that particular period? They do, and obviously they do get going, so quite a few uh, growers will force fruit early, so they're very good at covering the ends of the tunnels and uh, using those types of techniques, but the volume production is the critical thing, and it, it does mean that at the moment their revenues are lagging perhaps two weeks behind where they would like to see them. OK, Nick, thank you very much. Really interesting to get your thoughts on all of that. Um, Charlie, Naga, uh, I don't know about you, but I have really fond memories growing up as a kid, going strawberry picking in the fields in Essex. And the challenge was always to find the biggest and the reddest strawberry. I think I have succeeded in that, certainly this morning at least. Uh, it's, ben, like that double, is a... it's like a double strawberry that has kind of... Do you know what I mean? A double strawberry kind of melded into one. It's sort of it three taste strawberries good? in one. And some I've been I've been tasting them as we've gone. I'm not going to eat this live on air. It could end up getting very messy. But right. let me just show you there's a bit of a technique involved if you are going strawberry picking this summer to make sure you get the most out of what you've collected. Instead of grabbing the fruit there and bruising it, you pinch the stalk, you pull it from there, and that way when you get home it will last a few days longer in the fridge and stay nice and red and tasty for a bit more. Did you know that? Well, I didn't know that. It makes perfect sense. And it's very neatly done as well, Ben. So thank you very much. And uh, we have appreciated your matching jacket. Uh, you're setting a little bit of a precedent for any items of fruit and veg you're going to be lo looking at in the future. But we'll see how that works out. Thank you. <laughs>